Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So, however, it resonates with you. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. What is going on with Aries? All right. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be um, a massive change of events here. Um, I New love coming in, and it's, it's like the advice is to take a chance on it here and that keeps coming it's like everybody needs to take a chance right now on love and see what happens so we have the ace of cups here right this is a new beginning um it looks like you know it, clearly the past has been difficult but this is somebody that um is genuinely going to care about you and is extraordinarily charming here aries and I feel like you've been manifesting some new love into your life. And I feel like um, you're getting ready to get some wish fulfillment here. And I feel like it's, it's two people that have really been through similar circumstances. And this is kind of like somebody that will truly have your back. So this is, um, they'll do anything for you, I feel. Um, you just gotta kind of gotta take a chance on it and be open and vulnerable to it. This person's got a lot of love to give, okay? So you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. This could be your energy, male or female. Uh, does not matter. I feel like I feel like you've been like cold. I feel like you've been um more in your analytical mind than in your emotional mind with this card and I feel like Aries that's getting ready to change like you need to be a lot more open and vulnerable to love or you know it's like and I think I've said this to you before it's you know you're so tired of being alone yet you're so independent at the same time and um, I just feel like it's time for you to melt kind of, you know, this is, you know, this is, I am, I'm a Libra. This is me. So it's kind of like an ice qu queen melting. All right. So your inner ice queen or king needs to melt a little bit, um, and allow love into your heart. So we have the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. So if you want this new love, Aries, um, you know, it's it's time to heal from the past, let it go, move forward, and be ready to receive. So I hope you're ready to receive a whole lot of love. All right. So nine of cups, that is water energy. This person is very charming and very focused and willing to do whatever it takes. They're, they're, they will be there for you. Um, this person will be there for you. They understand you. They're very emotionally mature and um, they're, they're ready to be focused on just one individual and they're ready to settle down with this eight of pentacles here. So they will be very focused on you, Aries. So that's very good. All right, Aries, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind 
that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. So the heart of the reading is the King of Cups. A couple of different things with this. You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. So I feel like somebody that is open and emotionally available and emotionally vulnerable and very charming like I was saying before emotionally mature like I was saying before and this person can kind of melt you because I feel like you've kind of went cold inside um, Aries right so the challenge is it balanced um, will will you open up to them will you allow them to pour all that all that emotion and love on you will you allow them to make effort here so and I feel like yeah you will I feel like you will it's, it's like a it's a battle with you sometimes like you want to be independent yet you don't want to be alone you want to be doing your own thing yet you don't want to be alone and it's hard for you to let somebody in I know I got that Aries moon it drives me crazy so Six of Pentacles, that's Earth energy. The advice is to take a chance. The advice is to go for it. The advice is to be open. You see how open the, the arms are here. The heart chakra is very much exposed. So take a chance. If you don't want to be alone anymore, if you want some wish fulfillment, then take a chance on this person. Not everybody's gonna be like the past. I feel like you feel quite taken advantage of, like the past was not balanced. And you feel a little bit used um, in regards to the past situation but um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart um, you're looking I feel like for wish fulfillment like you want it but you're kind of scared of it and um, I just feel like this person is is going to understand you and it's kind of faded it's destined that this person shows up in your life right now because you believe it or not you're ready you're ready to take a leap of faith you're ready to take a chance on love and with this five of pinnacles here um, this person will be there for you all right so I feel like, you know, you've been cold, you've been alone for quite some time. You're in your analytical mind and it, you need to be in a more emotional state of mind. I feel like this person will stand right by you through the good times, through the bad times, right? You see two people in a snowstorm walking through the snow. One's got a broke leg, the other one's barefoot. I mean, this is, this is two people here that will go that they will be in the struggle with you or they will you know be in the best the best of times with you the worst of times that kind of thing um so yeah this is um your person that like they will never give up if if you allow it all right so Please clarify that Five of Pentacles for Aries. You're very focused on the past, see? So you gotta look up and, and you gotta see what's right behind you. And that's new love trying to come in. That's actually emotionally available. You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. And then we got some water over here. So you may need some time to think about it. Do you see, all right, do you see the star, right? We got the star and we see the star in this lantern, right? Trying to light the way, yet you keep that wish fulfillment at bay from you. So it's like this, um, and somebody else got a reading like this, like there's in this internal battle here. Um, but I feel like maybe you need some healing. Maybe you yourself think you're not completely ready to open up emotionally to somebody. But what this is saying, the advice is take a chance, take a leap of faith you will not regret it the past is in the past a lot of healing cards here and somebody just ready to love you right so let us pull some romance angel cards for 
Aries. What's going on with Aries? What's going on with Aries? What's going on with Aries? So free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. So this is a toxic cycle. You see the circle that needs to end. This could be the one right so this person's already in your atmosphere you've already met the romantic partner you seek it's just you have to be open and able to receive it take a chance take a chance on this person because they uh, will pour a lot of love um, into the relationship and they will be very focused on you but there's some toxic cycles that have to be completed here you need to free yourself truly and completely from past energy so Aries that's what's going on I hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you like I said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter and now TikTok. and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box for those new to the channel, welcome. I have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And um, the live schedule is down um, in the description box as well. You can find all that inform information in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Aries, I hope you have a great week. I hope you're taking very good care of yourself. It's just, you know, it's like... Are you ready for love? Yes, you're ready for love. You're ready for um, all of this newness, all of this um, taking a chance, taking a risk, and just, you know, I feel like you will land very softly. This person will take very good care of your heart. All right? Take care and God bless.